Hey everyone, it's Sammy from See Me Sweet Life and today's chit chat video might be kind of random and all over the place. Liv is home sick this week and I have not filmed anything basically in like three weeks. So I've done some grocery hauls, but that is about it. We're just gonna kind of go with the flow today. I've got a lot to talk about today. The first one being why I haven't filmed in a little while. We got a really, really bad stomach bug. So the last time we had a stomach bug was when Olivia was right at one year old and it was a 24 hour thing. We ended up going to the ER and all of us got IVs. Uh huh. You can't be in this video without clothes on, little one. So her favorite thing right now is just wearing underwear around the house. She's not feeling 100% better right now so I just let her. Anyway back to filming. We did have a pretty bad stomach bug sent us to the ER. We didn't get admitted to the hospital or anything. It was just they gave us IVs. We stayed there for a few hours. They pumped us full of anti-nausea medicine and sent us on our way and we were okay after that and it took a little while to recover but by a couple of days after that we were all back to eating no problem and so this is our second tummy bug and this one was way way worse than that one. We didn't end up in the ER but it has been weeks, just absolutely wrecked our systems. And Olivia is still um, not eating a whole lot. So she'll say that she's hungry and then she wants very little stuff. She'll eat bland stuff. Um, we have gotten her back on some light fruits and veggies, but for the most part, she's sticking with just carbs. <laughs> That's basically it, carbs and clear fluids. And I'm just really surprised how long this took. So actively for like two and a half weeks, she was throwing up every couple of nights and it was just really stressful and really hard on her and watching her suffer has been one of the hardest things that I've ever done. It's just watching her be sick and not being able to do anything and help at all. We ended up going to the doctor three different times throughout this like three week event and it was just, there's not much you can do when it's this kind of stomach bug. So I think we're now on the end where I can safely say that she's past that part of it. Um, so we're just working on, you know, resting and we didn't send her to school this week even though she could have gone. The doctor said for a while she's gonna be really susceptible to catching anything and everything and putting her, you know, in a germ infested environment is probably not the best thing. So we kept her out this week again. And so that's pretty much three weeks now that she's been just completely home with me. Uh-huh, now you wanna make your appearance. You got dressed. You can come say hi. Hi, big. <laughs> oh, you wanna say big? <laughs> You're such a good one. spreads down. You French breads downstairs? Do you see what? Yeah, who is that? I am the... That's right, that's Olivia. At the zoo. At the zoo, you're right, that was the zoo. And there's Mama and Olivia. You can look at the book if you want to. You remember that? That was when we had crepes for Valentine's Day. You were biting them. What are those? Mm, macarons. That's right, macarons. It was all from Valentine's Day and we took some pictures of Olivia for Valentine's Day. Yeah, you got some window cleans. That was fun. Yeah, I'm going to wear on your head. <laughs> you got underwear on your head? Yeah, you can look through that. Mommy's going to talk to the camera. But you can look. A lollipop. Yeah? You got, that was your first lollipop. I put it on the ground. Oh, okay. Mama's grandma's birthday. That's right. Libby is looking at that book right now. But anyway, we're still just on the mend. Johnny and I caught it like a week and a half to two weeks into her whole ordeal. And we just had like a 48 hour kind of normal tummy bug thing where it's like 48 hours of things coming out both ends and just feeling really miserable. And his was a day after mine. So I had it one day, he caught it. There was one day of overlap where we both felt really miserable. And then I started to feel a little bit better and we're still not at 100%. Our appetites are just nowhere near where they were in the beginning. Um, so that's just been something we're dealing with, kind of getting over it and those kind of effects kind of linger for a little while while your gut heals. We are on probiotics to try to boost up our gut health, but this thing just ravaged us. And I've never had a tummy bug this bad. Usually it's like, you know, 24 hours and then after a couple of days, you're back to normal. This one's really lingered. So um, the doctor did say that the one that's been going around has just been really bad. 
and they really said it just takes weeks. <laughs> they were, that's pretty much all they could do. They could tell us that it's gonna take weeks and so far they're right. But basically we haven't gone anywhere or done anything in three weeks with Olivia feeling bad. Um, she acts mostly okay, but she'll still get really tired. She has been taking naps and I've been taking naps and we're just trying to heal. Other than that, there's a whole not a whole lot going on because we've been home for so long. Uh, yeah, that was mommy going to ladies night. Those are mommy's friends. Yeah. Yeah. What's that? Um, yep, that's a bazooki. All right, buggy. You having fun looking at the book? Yeah. Yeah. Olivia loves the scrapbook. Speaking of scrapbooks, I've been working on the scrapbook a little bit. Before all the stomach thing happened, I ended up starting to scrapbook every Friday afternoon. So when she has her quiet time, I'm in here scrapbooking. Generally speaking, I get my housework done on Thursday and knock it all out. And then on Friday, when she's down for quiet time, I scrapbook. So it's just like a fun Friday afternoon thing for me. Olivia's playing with the, the scrapbook. Okay, Libby, be gentle though. Don't rip them, okay? Gentle. Gentle. <laughs> and so that's been really fun. One of the things I've been doing while I've scrapbooked is I've been listening to podcasts and I like one podcast in particular. It is the Minimalists podcast and I have just loved it. I've been kind of binge listening to it. Anytime I have a free moment, I get my Bluetooth headphones and just listen and I loved it. It's given me different things to think about. This kind of goes into the house situation. One of the things we have discovered with this bigger house is it's a whole lot bigger. <laughs> it's a whole lot more to clean and a whole lot more to manage. We've just kind of come to the realization that our house is too big. <laughs> and as much as I love having the big house, I love like the look of it, we just don't need all the space. I find that we don't use this room a whole lot. I could totally get away with not having an entire room. Johnny has barely touched his side at all since the months it's been set up. And also, we hardly use the whole loft room, which is a huge room. We barely ever use that. We barely ever use the guest room. We have another bedroom that's not being used at all. So basically this whole top level, there's one bedroom up here that we use and then we just use the downstairs. And so we are definitely keeping that in mind for the future that the house is just a lot bigger than we need. Listening to the podcast has really put me in that mindset of what do we actually need and what do we actually use? And it's changed my outlook on having the big luxurious house because right now our house is big and beautiful and we just don't need all of it. We're definitely looking at that. I told you guys this isn't the right fit for us and so it's not the right fit in that aspect too. I really felt like our house in Champaign was a really good size. I would have liked one extra bedroom in that house but other than that, the house was pretty much perfect. So we might look at getting just a four bedroom house in the next round of house hunting. Um, so we're not to that point yet. We are just kind of planning things out, discussing different options. And ultimately, I don't know how long we're gonna stay here, when we're gonna move, when we're gonna try to sell this or what we're gonna do after that point. But it's definitely something that we're thinking about and planning for. So that's just my rambly thoughts on the house situation. I have kept saying that I can talk about the legal stuff at some point and I just can't yet. Things are just not finalized yet. And so it's just been one of those things where you think everything is done and everything is over and then something else happens. And then you can't talk about it again for other legal reasons. And we're just to that point now that it just takes so stinking long to do anything related to legal stuff. And so I have no updates at all for uh, the other stuff, but Hopefully, like I say every time, hopefully we're gonna be at the end of this soon. I really thought we were at the end and we're not. <laughs> it's just taking way longer than we expected. So there's not much to say on that part of the house situation either, but I just don't feel like this is our home. It just doesn't feel right. So the funny thing with that is in the very beginning, even when I filmed our We Bought a House video, I didn't love this house. I never have loved this house. And I think I love the house more now that time has sunk in. I'm like, you know, I really like 
X, Y, and Z about the house. The stone fireplace isn't bothering me as much. The countertops aren't bothering me as much. It feels um, familiar in that respect, but it's just not the right fit. Um, more so now, the neighborhood. <laughs> it's partially the area of town and the neighborhood now that's really just hanging us up. Johnny has a pretty hefty commute. He just does not like his commute. And so that's part of going into planning out what our next step is going to be. One of the things that we've done recently, and it coincided really closely with the stomach issues, is we are going sugar-free. Not exactly sugar-free, but we're cutting out all the sweets you need help with. So we are doing 30 days of no sugar, and it's not sugar that's in everything. It's mostly just sticking away from sweets right now because we were really into the sweets, and we started this. I'm done. Okay, you can go play this independent over here so i didn't know how it was gonna be with filming while she's um here and awake but so far so good i don't know how obnoxious the plastic from those scrapbooks was for you guys so i hope it wasn't too awful um and now she's just going to play that's kind of how her day goes is i'll do something and she'll keep herself occupied or we'll be both playing together and all of a sudden she'll just kind of go off on her own and then i can go off on my own a little bit and then we play together and then separate and play together. That's kind of how our day goes all the way through the day. I'll go back to the no sugar thing. Uh, we are just doing 30 days of no sugar and it's not things like uh, sugar that's in sauces or sugar in things that you wouldn't expect sugar to be in because I know like pretty much all packaged things have added sugar. So we're not so much concentrating on that part of it. We are really concentrating on the dessert and the sweets aspect of it because it seems like we're having a sweet or a dessert every single day and we're trying to cut that part of the habit out. This goes back to the stomach bug thing. In the beginning, she just threw up one day, seemed perfectly fine, and then ended up throwing up a couple more times a couple days down the line. Like I said, she was having these um, stomach problems every so often. So at the beginning, we didn't think it was a, a stomach bug or something serious. We just thought maybe she ate something weird or, you know, kids, kids randomly throw up sometimes. It's not that big of a deal until she did it the second time. And the night of the second time was the first day of us having no sugar. And so I was really stressed out and all I wanted to do was have a bunch of sugar. I did make it through that day and the first couple of days felt the same. They were really stressful and I was wanting sugar the whole time. And there for about a week, um, it was really, really hard to uh, deal with no sugar. And then like right at the end of the first week is when Johnny and I both caught it. So we didn't want anything at that point. The one thing that we have had that's been sugary was Gatorade. And that was pretty much all we had. We had a little bit of broth and a little bit of Gatorade for like three days straight. And that was all we had. So we have had sugar. I'm not saying we haven't had any sugar at all, but that was it. We haven't had desserts or cakes or cookies or anything. As far as that goes, we haven't had a whole lot of packaged stuff to begin with, aside from the Gatorade and the soup. <laughs> mm-hmm. You got shoes? You're such a stinker. I got there to match. Oh, I see that you got a match. All right, little one. You need to put those shoes back downstairs. You're not supposed to have shoes up here. Why? Because they can be dirty on the walls. Now she's just going to clown and come in every five seconds. But I'd say the first almost full week was really hard. There were a couple of days where I was like, okay, it's getting better. And then we got sick and we haven't wanted anything since. So that makes it really easy to cut the sugar habit when you just don't want to eat anything at all. <laughs> so we are about 20 days into it now. And I'm not craving any sort of sweets or desserts or anything. Really, that first week was the hardest, especially the first like three to four days was really hard. And... I thought about sugar. And those first few days, I also had the migraines. So I don't know if it was coming down from the sugar addiction or what, but I had a few days of migraines. I don't know if that had anything to do with the sugar or not, or if it was unrelated, but that just made me want to go for the desserts even more. Cause I'm like, I'm sick. She's sick. We're all miserable. I really just want to eat a big giant cake. <laughs> that's all I really wanted. I wanted a big Starbucks or a big cookie or something. And that's all I was thinking about during that time but I made it through, I made it through, Johnny's made it through. We haven't had anything at all. And the day before I started the sugar thing was my last Starbucks drink. 
I had one that day and I said, okay, this is, this is the end. And so, so far so good. We're 20 days in, we're gonna stick with it through 30 days and then we're gonna have moderate sweets. So we're already trying to, you know, cut out some processed things. So we don't have a whole lot of packaged things with secret hidden sugars. I'm sure we do have some, but not a ton of those because we just don't eat a whole lot of like boxed meals and things that would have a ton of added sugar. I'm going to be more mindful of buying the processed things and the sugar in the future, but we're going to have sweets every once in a while. We're just not going to make them an everyday thing like we were. And so I'm listening for her. And so like a sweet a week or something, we'll go out for ice cream on the weekends or something along those lines, or I'll bake a batch of cookies, but not to the extent we were having sweets. Now that we're on the other side of the cravings part of it, I feel really good. Aside from my stomach just not being 100% because of this stomach bug, I'm feeling really energetic and really good not having the sugar. Johnny has actually had way, way better results than I have. Any little sign of acne he had totally has cleared up in this last like 20 days. And he also has dropped a lot of weight. I was really surprised. I've dropped a couple of pounds in this. For me, it's probably from the stomach thing, <laughs> not eating a whole lot. But for him, it was even before the stomach thing. He had dropped a few pounds in the first week. So I know sugar can cause inflammation. And I think that's what it was. I think at this point in time, the bloating and inflammation is gone and his acne is cleared up. I haven't noticed any difference with my acne, but mine's really hormonal. So I don't know that mine would clear up from just cutting out the sugar, but it's really felt good. And I really feel proud of making it so far. We're both kind of going down a bad path with the sugar. And so I really am glad that we kind of snapped out of it. And I'm so thankful that he did this with me because it was gonna be so much harder with him not on board. So we've got about 10 more days left of this before we'll have some sort of sweets. There's a buffet I've been really wanting to go to. People have been raving about it. It's an Asian buffet and they have a really nice dessert counter with cakes and all sorts of things. It's not just Asian food. I really want to go there, but we're gonna wait until the 30 days are up before we go there because right now we can't have any kind of desserts. And also one of the things, Johnny likes soda. So he'll have soda at work here and there and he hasn't had any the last couple of weeks. And he says he feels so much better without it. So I would really recommend you guys to just give this a try. Just try for 30 days and uh, you can do it. I thought for sure I was gonna just break it in the first couple of days because it was rough. We were stressed out and I just don't know how I didn't crack those first couple of days. This is something I've wanted to do for a really long time and I am glad that we finally just did it. So going with the 30 days of no sugar, I was trying the 30 day minimalist challenge and we made it through the first few days of that, but then we got the stomach thing and I stopped that completely. So I think I'll start that again once the sugar thing is up. This is something directly from the minimalists. It's 30 days of decluttering. And so on day one, you get rid of one thing. On day two, you get rid of two things. On day three, three things, all the way up to 30 days. On day 30, you're trying to get rid of 30 new different things for that day. And so it's not just like one item a day. It really builds up. I think I made it up to day eight Eight, and then that's when I got sick. And so we got rid of things throughout that. I could see where it would get really, really hard in those later days. And you're just supposed to um, partner up with somebody and you both declutter and whoever goes the longest wins. And if you both make it to 30 days, you've gotten rid of like almost 500 items, which is awesome. I'm just doing the challenge by myself. <laughs> I didn't have anybody to do it with me, but I really found that it was really fun to go through and try to think of things to get rid of. And we're definitely not going minimalist. I think I'm drawn to it because it, you know, it is a simpler way. I just don't see us ever being minimalist at all. So all in all, this last month or so has been just really hard. We got back from the vacation. Um, Johnny's grandpa passed away. I had migraine day. We've been dealing with this funky stomach bug. I feel like we're finally getting out of it. And like I said, I haven't filmed anything for you guys. So there's gonna be some spotty weeks here and there while I'm trying to catch up. Olivia's still not in preschool again. So once she's in school, I'll be able to film a little bit more. So just expect the videos to just not be really consistent the next couple weeks while I'm kind of catching up on filming videos. Videos. I was caught up again and then as soon as I get caught up and I have a couple of videos scheduled something happens. I've got one more thing I want to talk about with you guys. I did end up switching over my hosting provider for my scrapbook blog and I ended up making a blog for this channel. I've had a blog in the past but I haven't really 
updated it or did anything with it really. And this time I'm going to try to work on um, having the blog as a supplement to this channel. I'm pretty. You are so pretty. Let me see. <gasps> what a pretty girl. I like your hat. My hat. Can you get it off? <gasps> beautiful. So beautiful. I can see you're playing with the winter clothes, huh? Yeah. yeah. All right, well, I'm almost done with this video. I got like one more minute and I'll be downstairs. Did you finish your banana? Uh -uh, not yet. Okay. Here, take your hat so you don't lose it, baby. There you go. All right, I'm almost done. I'll be right there. So I'm really excited to have my blogs up and running again. I really was unhappy with using GoDaddy as my hosting provider. They just were really spotty with their service. And so I switched over to a different company. It's called Bluehost and they're supposed to have really good ratings and really good uptime. And so hopefully my blog will stay up all month long. Whereas with my scrapbook blog before with GoDaddy, it would have outages a couple of times a month. It would say I've exceeded my resource limits and all this stuff. And I'm like, dude, it's a WordPress blog. It doesn't use a whole lot of resources. And I do get a lot of traffic, but it should be able to handle that. And I was paying, I think $11 a month before, and now I'm paying a little bit less than that. And it's so far working out really well. And I'm really excited about blogging again. For a long time, I just wasn't enjoying the blogging aspect because my blog was so iffy. And now I'm having really good, clear service and able to update really flawlessly. I'm really excited about having a blog for this channel now so I can have some, some things here and there, some freebies or some printables, things like that. It's just at sammysweetlife.com. And I hope you guys will check it out. There's not much there except a couple of pictures of vacation and that's about it. So uh, there's yeah. astronaut Olivia. I'm about to be done. I'm going to say goodbye. You want to help me say goodbye? Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here. I hope you guys have a great day. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I will catch you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.